Okay, Mountain TV, we're hanging out with John Livingston from Colorado Parks and Wildlife. John, great to see you as always. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, going great. Uh, you know, we're here uh, in the fall season and uh, still a lot of activity. Been beautiful uh, leaf peeping. The season's just been spectacular. Why don't I dive right into things? Tell us a little bit more about um, these gorgeous animals we have all over the place and what we should and should not do relative to feeding them. Yeah, especially as we're starting to head into the, the colder months and the winter season, um, folks kind of have that tendency or urge to feel like, hey, maybe they can help wildlife out by uh, giving them a little bit of extra supplemental food, uh, getting those bears fattened up before denning or uh, helping out fox and deer as they're kind of um, moving around. And yeah, we really want to stress to people uh, the dangers of that, not only for uh, human health and safety, but also to those animals. What, what are some of those dangers? You're right. Some of these animals seem pretty approachable. It's almost like, hey, I'm kind of doing them a favor, getting them some food as the weather gets colder. What, what are some of the dangers that uh, face the animals? The number one thing is these animals should be eating their natural forage, uh, you know, whatever that may be. If it's a fox, they should be, you know, out hunting for small rodents, uh, things of that nature. When you're giving them food that's got grain and flour, that's not part of their natural diet. And it can actually cause them a lot of stomach problems from ulcers and acid buildup and, and burns. Um, to even with deer, if they're eating stuff like corn, uh, grains like that uh, can actually make their stomach kind of bloat up. Um, it can be really harmful for those animals. Now with humans as well, you could also by attracting deer to your property, you know what eats deer is mountain lions so you could uh yeah, you know right. in, in the same sense be attracting more mountain lions to your neighborhood if you're putting food out um for deer so just really important for folks yeah. to think about okay yep got to be super careful i know there's that story about a bear recently here in colorado that got in some trash that was kind of unprotected not covered properly ate the trash and basically killed it because it just got stuck in its stomach lining and, and that was it yeah, lots of uh, disposable wipes, paper towels, stuff that that bear couldn't process through its intestines led yep. to a big blockage. And that bear had probably been starving for about a month because it right. wasn't able to process any food. So, you right. know, make sure you're securing your trash. And if you got apple trees or fruit trees or anything and the, that fruit's starting to fall, make sure you're picking that stuff up because you don't want, you know, a bunch of animals getting into that stuff and either drawing in other predators or getting those animals sick. Okay, sounds good. We got about 30 seconds left here, John. Um, I can't let you go without talking about Halloween. Tell me more. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's the time of year. Everybody wants to start getting those decorations out in their yard. Everybody wants to tell you how you should, uh, you know, what you should do with your pumpkins or not. But hey, as you're hanging up those decorations, make sure you wrap any lights um, really tight to those poles. Uh, you know, deer are rubbing their antlers on all sorts of stuff. You don't want them uh, getting their antlers stuck in a bunch of your spider webs or your lights. Okay, great advice. And you guys go check out the website. We got it hanging down here at the bottom of the screen. There's all kinds of great information on there and maps. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in another week or so before Halloween. Thanks for the tips and tricks, John. We appreciate it so much. No question. We'll see you next week. Okay, you got it. Mountain TV.